Dozens of rockets were launched overnight and continued throughout the morning hours at Israeli communities, including more than 20 rockets fired at towns in the Jezreel Valley in three volleys. The IDF reported that most of the rockets were successfully intercepted, while others landed in open areas. Following the barrages, reports surfaced of shrapnel hitting the Nazareth and Afula areas. Among other damage, shrapnel struck the entrance to the English hospital in Nazareth. A spokesperson from Emic Medical Center in Afula said five people were treated for injuries sustained while running to their safe rooms. They suffered from fractures and bruised limbs. Alerts were also activated in the Nahariya area, where at least two missiles were identified as having crossed the border from Lebanon into Israel. They landed in the maritime zone off the city's coast. Meanwhile, the IDF continues to strike Hezbollah terrorist targets in Lebanon as part of an operation now named Northern Arrows. Overnight and into the morning, working with the IDF's intelligence corps, the Israeli Air Force struck hundreds of Hezbollah targets, including rocket launchers, command posts, and terrorist infrastructures in various areas of southern Lebanon. Over the past day, the IAF hit approximately 1,600 Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon and the Bika Valley, according to the army. IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari condemned Hezbollah for the situation, saying it is part of the terror organization's plan to turn southern Lebanon into a battlefield for attacks on Israel. He added that Israel would not tolerate a terrorist group storing weapons in civilian homes and using them to fire at civilians in Israel. Earlier yesterday, IDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Herzi Alevi held a situation assessment in the region. He reported that the IDF and the IAF are dismantling Hezbollah capabilities that have been built up over the last 20 years. Hezbollah claimed it has struck key targets in Israel overnight as well, including two army bases, an explosive factory in Zichron Yaakov, and the Megiddo Military Airport. At the time of this recording, those reports had not yet been confirmed. Iranian President Massoud Pezeshkan has accused Israel of seeking a regional escalation and setting traps to draw his country into a broader conflict. He also said that Iran would lay down its weapons if Israel would do the same. Speaking at the United Nations on Monday, Pezeshkan told the foreign press that Iran does not want to see the current war in Gaza, along with the airstrikes on the Israeli-Lebanon border, escalate any further. He claimed that Israel's actions indicate it wants a wider war, pointing to last week's walkie-talkie and pager attack attack and the July assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniya in Iran as examples. The Iranian leader also accused Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. The IDF conducted an overnight operation in the Arab part of Hebron. The Judea Brigade, Israeli police, civil administration and additional soldiers worked together to seize four machines used for manufacturing weapons as well as several weapons themselves. In a separate operation in Anata, with assistance from the Shin Bet, soldiers arrested a wanted terrorist and seized approximately 100,000 shekels in terror funds. Additionally, several wanted terrorists were apprehended during operations in al Mugarir, the Bika Valley, Bethlehem, Tekoa and Azaria, where weapons and ammunition were also confiscated. Those arrested have been transferred for interrogation. There were no casualties among IDF troops. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative, available on the web, Android, and Apple.